Hello everyone, this is your Kalpana here. In this video, we're going to see a problem from partial differential equation. So let's get going. Problem form partial differential equation from f of x square plus y square plus z square comma z square minus 2x square equal to 0 by eliminating the arbitrary function. So we are given relation f of x square plus y square plus z square comma z square minus 2xy equal to 0. And we are asked to form a partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function f. Okay. So we can solve this problem in three ways. You can solve in many ways, but we'll find or we'll find form partial differential equation with any of these three ways. Okay. If you consider it as u and this as v, you can use u equal to some g of v or v equal to v equal to some g of u or you can use determinant equal to zero that is dou u by dou x dou u by dou y dou v by dou x dou v by dou y equal to zero so in this video we are going to see i'm going to explain this and i'll show this finally the answer how to solve i'll just show you the problem after solving it and we'll see this in the next video okay let's begin solution given f of x square plus y square plus z square comma z square minus 2xy equal to 0 consider as equation number 1 now we'll rewrite this equation as x square plus y square plus z square equal to g of z square minus 2xy if f is a arbitrary function in this equation here g will be the arbitrary equation consider as equation number two now what we'll do is we'll just find partial derivative i mean we'll just partially differentiate equation two with respect to x and also with respect to y okay let's see partially differentiating with respect to x just apply dou by dou x on both sides of equation 2 in order to avoid mistakes okay equal to dou by dou x of g of z square minus 2xy this gives us dou by dou x of x square plus dou by dou x of y square plus dou by dou x of z square see here we are partially differentiating with respect to x so we will treat y as constant here y square is treated as constant equal to partial derivative of g of z square minus 2xy with respect to x is g dash of z square minus 2xy into inner derivative that is dou by dou x of z square minus 2xy this gives us partial rate of x square with respect to x is 2x plus partial rate of y square with respect to x is 0 plus partial rate of z square to, with respect to x is 2z into dou z by dou x that is inner derivative of z square equal to g dash of z square minus 2xy into partial derivative of z square minus here 2 and y are constants right we will write it as 2y into dou by dou x of x or you can write just write dou by dou x of 2xy in the next step we can take the constants out this gives us 2x plus 2z into since we have notation dou z by dou x equal to p since dou z by dou x equal to p we have a notation right we'll just replace it by p we'll get 2zp okay equal to g dash of z square minus 2xy into partial rate of z square with respect to x is 2z into inner derivative dou z by 
2x minus constant. 2 and y are constants here, right? You'll get 2y into dou by dou x of x. You can do directly. Now take two common from these two terms. You'll get 2 times x plus zt equal to g dash of z square minus 2xy into 2z into, we have a notation, dou z by dou x equal to p, right? Just write p here. Minus 2y into partial rate of x with respect to x is 1. So from this, we will get 2 times x plus zp equal to g dash of z square minus 2xy into, take 2 common from these two terms, we will get 2 times zp minus y. Consider as equation number 3. Now let's partially differentiate equation 2 with respect to y. Right. Now let's partially differentiate 2 with respect to y. Partially differentiating 2 with respect to y. Just apply dou by dou y on both sides of equation 2. This gives us, here we are partially differentiating with respect to y, so we'll read x as constant, okay? Dou by dou y of first term, plus dou by dou y of second term, plus dou by dou y of third term, equal to partial derivative of g of z square minus 2xy with respect to y is g dash o of z square minus 2xy into inner derivative that is dou by dou y of z square minus 2xy. Okay. This gives us partial derivative of x square with respect to y is 0 plus partial derivative of y square with respect to y is 2y plus partial derivative of z square with respect to y is 2z into dou z by dou y equal to g dash of z square minus 2xy into Partial derivative of z square with respect to y is, let's write, partial derivative of z square minus partial derivative of 2xy is equals to 2y plus 2z into, we have a notation since dou z by dou y equal to q, we'll replace it by q, you'll we'll get into q equal to g dash of z square minus 2xy into partial derivative of z square with respect to y is 2z into dou z by dou y minus here 2 and x are constants, right? We'll write it as 2x into dou by dou y of y, right? Now take 2 common from these two terms, we'll get 2 times y plus z q equal to g dash of z square minus 2xy into 2z, replace it by notation q minus 2x into partial rate of y with respect to y is 1. Right, finally, you'll get an equation 2 times y plus z q, it's 2, right? Equal to g dash of z square minus 2xy. And also take 2 common from these 2 terms, you'll get 2 times z q minus x. Right? Now consider it as equation number, say, 4. Now observe equation 3 and 4. We have g dash in both the equations, so we'll just eliminate it using 3 by 4. And that results to a partial differential equation. Let's see. Three by four, right? Three by four gives LHS of three by LHS of four equal to RHS of three by RHS of four by 
where g dash gets cancelled, 2 gets cancelled. And this gives us x plus zp by y plus zq equal to zp minus y by zq minus x. Now make a cross multiplication to simplify it. x plus zp into x plus zp into zq minus x equal to zp minus y into y plus zq. Right? This gives us x into these two terms xzq minus x square zp into these two terms plus z square pq plus into minus minus xzp equal to zp into two terms yzp plus z square pq minus y into two terms minus y into y y square minus y square minus into plus minus y into zq yzq so if you notice you're having z square pq in both lhs and rhs so let's cancel it out and what else you have that's it now write all the terms that involves p and q in lhs and terms that does not involve p and q in rhs we'll get xzq minus xzp bring this term to lhs you'll get minus yzp bring this to lhs it becomes plus yzq equal to already have minus y square take this term to rhs it does not involve p or q right right fine now take minus p common from these two terms you will get minus p times also z take z and pq common from these two terms you will get minus p times x plus y into z right we just take took p and z common from these two terms now take plus zq common from these two we will get plus q times x plus y into z equal to minus y square plus x square let it be okay now you can just take minus common from these two equations and here also minus 2 common or multiply both sides of the equation with minus simply multiply both sides of the equation with minus you'll get minus into minus plus p times x plus y into z minus into plus minus q times x plus y into z equal to minus into minus plus y square plus into minus minus x square okay or or you can write the same equation as first write the term that involves positive sign you'll get q times write it here okay q times x plus y into z minus p times x plus y into z equal to x square minus y square okay either you can multiply both sides of the equation with minus to get this or simply you can write the same equation like this okay this will be easy right fine which is a required partial differential equation you may get this or this there's nothing wrong in it okay fine now i'll solve and show you this when b equal to q of u If v equal to g of u, also you'll get the same equation. If you multiply both sides with minus, you'll get this equation. Okay? Fine. Well, we have seen a problem from partial differential equations in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.